There's a new attraction in Denmark, WA. Oh, what's that? It's um a Lord of the Rings tribute theme park. Yeah, move over um, New Zealand. We've got we've got Southwest WA now with um with the Mordor uh, attraction. What can you do at the Mordor attraction? Well, you can look at rocks. Um, you can drown in quicksand. Oh, I nearly drowned before. Look at this. This I got lucky. Um, you can also get rained and hailed on. That's quite a frequent event happening five times a day. So right. get in, get your tokens for those for those time slots. And what happens in the thing is they like do they destroy the like evil overlord. That must be us. We just again. run the theme park. I don't know. I just work here. I'm just getting too into character here. That's um, that's Hugel Culture Mordor. That's um, like the sequel. Yeah, that's that's post Mordor. Lord of the Rings 8. Just like in Disneyland, all of the residents of Peace Street dress up in character like various Lord of the Rings favourites. Mr. Frodo! That's my only... <laughs> Who else Run, is Sam Gadgey, <laughs> and oh, I axe. I'm just quoting Flight of the Concord. That's like, in yeah. Oh, what is that again? Isn't that the noise Mordor makes? Mordor when, makes a noise? When the eye? The eye of Mordor? I didn't think Mordor made a noise. Mordor's a place. How can a place make a yeah, noise? Yeah, but when the eye gets angry, it's like, Rah! Bring your family along for a family-friendly ticket price of... Two dollars. Um, whatever. A bunch of silver beet. Hug. We take all donations here at, at Denmark WA's... Mordor... Latest park. tourist attraction. <laughs> we might get interviewed for the Denmark Times. Mm. Is there a newspaper in Denmark? Yeah, I think it's called the Denmark Times. <laughs> <laughs> That's a sign.